Hello, my name is Mark Mendelssohn. I'm a professor of infectious diseases at the University of Cape Town, and I work on the COVID frontline at Huddersfield Hospital. Over the last few days, a video has been circulating uh, promoting an anti-vaxxer stance by a prominent South African healthcare professional. In it, there are various claims made against the vaccines and how COVID is managed in South Africa. From start to finish, unfortunately, this is full of misconceptions, misinformation, myths and untruths. In response, I think it's very important that you understand that COVID-19, although a small number of people, can cause a very severe illness, hospital admission and death. The main benefit of COVID vaccination is to reduce the severity of disease, reduce the likelihood of hospitalisation and to save your life. Currently in South Africa, the Delta variant is circulating. And most recently, research has shown that the Johnson Johnson vaccine that was given to 480,000 healthcare workers in South Africa is 96% effective against mortality. Similarly, the Pfizer vaccination, which is in two doses and has been rolled out as part of South Africa's vaccination campaign, is not only extremely safe, but also highly effective in reducing severe disease, hospitalization and death. At the end of the day, although we would like a vaccine to do everything we would dream of, including stopping transmission short and people never getting sick, what we really want is people to be protected from severe disease, hospitalization and therefore the pressures on the health system, and most importantly from dying. Now, there have been 4 billion doses of vaccines for COVID administered worldwide. To date, there have been no long-term effects reported. That is not to say that there aren't side effects. When you're given COVID vaccine, not everybody will experience it, but because that COVID vaccine is there to instruct your immune system to wake it up and to uh, respond to COVID uh, infection in the future, you will get often some mild symptoms, including a painful arm, maybe fever, maybe feeling fluey. But that's a good thing because it means that your body is reacting and is priming you to fight off COVID in the future. The Pfizer vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. mRNA cannot be incorporated into your genetic material. It's impossible just doesn't happen. The components of the vaccines, be it Pfizer or others, are well known. They are not a secret, as has been suggested in the circulating webinar. There are very rare severe adverse effects, but they are very, very rare. One of the most well publicized is the clotting disorder that was linked to the so-called vector vaccines, AstraZeneca, and in a very small number of cases, to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But these are incredibly rare. Working on the front line of COVID in high care units with high flow nasal oxygen, which is just short of the patients requiring mechanical ventilation in ICU, every day I see people who are on that unit who are filled with regret of not having had a vaccine. Don't be one of those people. This is a serious, serious infection that can be prevented in its severity with COVID vaccine. Now, no vaccine is 100% effective, and therefore there will be some people who are vaccinated who do get severe disease but your chances of survival and of not getting severe disease if you are vaccinated is so much greater than if you're not vaccinated. The vaccine is safe. There is no link to female infertility, as has been suggested by the webinar. I implore you, do the right thing, get vaccinated and protect yourself.
Facebook.